Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Karen Harris and I am a beauty channel here on YouTube. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I usually upload every other day, so if you do want to see regular content from me, I would definitely suggest hitting that subscribe button down below and hitting that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. September has been a crazy month. It seems like all the holiday launches are already out and brands just keep coming out with gorgeous shadow palettes and I honestly can't stop. One of the palettes that caught my eye this month is of course the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette and this is why you guys are all here. So without further ado, let's get into my swatches, first impressions, and review of this palette for you guys. So like I already mentioned in the introduction, this is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. This is what the packaging looks like. And if you are not familiar with the brand ColourPop, it is an online like sort of indie brand, but of course they're a lot more popular now. I think they've been around for a good five years or so. I mean, I've been using them for a while and I'm not gonna lie, I have a huge ColourPop collection from their liquid lipsticks to their Super Shock shadows to their nail polish. Like they're coming out with a full range of products and I honestly couldn't be happier. I know a lot of people complain about ColourPop because it does seem like they're launching something new every day. But you know what guys, everyone has to pay their bills and as long as they're putting out good product, I'm not really gonna complain about it. That's the thing, it's like it'd be different if they were coming out with new stuff all the time and the quality was shit but it's not shitty and I mean, I can already tell you guys, I love this palette. And this retails for $16. I mean, where can you find 12 eyeshadows that are good quality in this packaging for $16? I think they're really, really hit it out of the park. So I'm pretty much buying something from them every week. They definitely are coming out with a lot of palettes. They've already launched two little ones and of course I had to get them. This is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. This is basically a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, which is sold out. So if you guys are interested in a $16 dupe, I swatch all the shadows next to each other. I will link that video up in the cards for you guys. Brilliant palette. Don't have to tell you how much I love it. This is the Femme Rosa palette, and this is another gorgeous palette. These are such trendy shades, you guys, and honestly, like these purples and corals and pinks just speak to me on another level. So if you're into this color story, I would definitely recommend this one. And now they came out with the most neutral, basic, everyday palette of all time for me personally. I can see it replacing like the Naked palette in most people's collections. And especially if you are new to makeup, why spend $52 on a Naked palette when you can get this one and some lipstick and some nail polish for the, I mean, you can get a ton of stuff for $52 on the ColourPop website, and you can get a full eyeshadow palette for $16. This honestly has everything you need. There are some beautiful shimmer shades. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shimmer shades. There's one, two, three, four matte shades, and there is a perfect like matte, shimmery, like brow, brow bone highlight, which is what is on my brow bone, uh, a really nice neutral transition shade, a little bit of a warmer transition, and then a black, which is always good to have and this black guys does not mess around it is very very pigmented you will see in my demo now I bought this online at colourpop.com and it launched on 9-7 it is still available from what I know I actually did pick up two so I will be doing a giveaway at some point I don't know when but I believe this is a limited edition palette so if you want to get your hands on it I would totally recommend doing that ColourPop does offer free shipping on their website when you spend $30 or more, and $30 is not hard to spend. Like I said, I just picked up two of these and I hit the shipping minimum because I wanna give one away to you guys at some point. I love the packaging, it is honestly gorgeous. There's something to be said about these smaller palettes by ColourPop. Sometimes we see these bigger palettes and a lot of times I think we associate bigger with better and bigger is more and you kind of associate that high price tag with bigger eyeshadow palettes because you feel like you're getting more. There's something so great about this compact palette because I can take this with me. It's so easy for me to reach for in the mornings and I'm not like pulling out this big palette 
palette. It's not like the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, which is huge and clunky, hard to store. I just think ColourPop is really onto something with these cute compact palettes. And I also love that they're not charging you an arm and a leg with these. So honestly, so, so impressed. I was going to look up where these were made. These are made, I believe, in the United States because ColourPop is based out of California. So I don't think they do any production like out of the country. Yes, actually on this box it does say it's made in the USA and it is cruelty free. I don't see that it says that it's vegan. Um, and then the net weight of this palette is 12 times 0.03 ounces. So you don't get a ton of product, but honestly with that price tag, can you really complain? Also, another thing about ColourPop is they're kind of like, I think of them as a Forever 21 of makeup because they are like into that fast makeup. They make trendy things. Um, they don't give you a ton of product, but that's okay because who on earth has ever used up an eyeshadow palette? I, I mean, I've never used up an eyeshadow palette. I'm sure there's people on earth that have used up eyeshadow palettes, but I just think this is perfect for everyone. Beginners, YouTubers, um, makeup artists. I mean, I think this is such a handy palette to carry around. So as far as the shades go, there are basically golds, neutrals, and browns in this palette, and there's two formulas. It's metallic and matte, and I think this would honestly be suitable for all skin tones. I don't think there are any people that would be really left out with this palette. It doesn't give me the shelf life on the palette. I did look online. I didn't see it. But uh, obviously use your due diligence if you had it for like 10 years, you probably want to, you know, make sure it smells okay, but I don't see a shelf life stated on here. I think the application of the shades are just like the other palettes by ColourPop. Their per shadow formula, honestly guys, is really good. Like not even just for the $4 price tag, it's just genuinely good. And they have such great colors and with the palettes and everything, I think they're really knocking it out of the park. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches of the palette and then I'm gonna show you a quick demo of this palette on my eyes. So let's start with the swatches. I'm gonna go row by row here. So let's do the first four shades. These feel so buttery. We have the first shade, which is Better Bitter. We have Bel Air, Fancy Face, and Girls Bite. So let me just swatch for you. Oh my God, these are so pretty. They swatch so nicely and the metallics are so pigmented. I, I can't say enough good things about this, guys. I know I sound like a broken record, but where are you gonna find shadows like this for 16 bucks? Um, cause let me tell you the drugstore, I honestly haven't found an eyeshadow palette that I love from the drugstore. This is the second row of shades. So we have Howdy, Rowdy, My Treat, and Level Up. And I'm just doing one swipe on my hands with these. These two are very, very pigmented, a little bit flaky, but I also have arm hair, so keep that in mind. Obviously, your eyelids are going to be a lot smoother, so if I blow on this, I'm sure you're going to see flex fly off. <sighs> Do you guys see that? I don't know if my camera is going to be capturing that, but these are the swatches on the second row. So soft. This black is so pigmented. Oh, God. Okay, let me just swatch them quick. Woo! Wow. Okay, so the last row we have Screw It right here. The black one is called Let's Do It, Rule Breaker, and My Type. These are stunning. So there you go. Okay, guys, now that you checked out the swatches, let's go ahead and jump into my little demo that I filmed using this palette. Okay, so here is the palette. Let me get it out of the box. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I'm so excited to play with this. I think this is the first one that I've actually done a tutorial with. I do have all the other ColourPop eyeshadows, but this one I'm so excited to play with. So I like to always set a base down, but I do have some Cover FX powder on, but Let's tap in to the shade My Treat. It does have a little bit of sparkle in it. I think that might be a really pretty brow bone highlight for me. So it's really picking up on camera. So I love that. 
There's a lot of pretty shimmer shades in here, but of course for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to start with some mattes. So I'm going to lay down in the crease um, Fancy Face, which is this really pretty like muted brown shade. And I'm just going to throw that in my crease. You guys know how all my demos and tutorials go. I always start with a nice fluffy brush and this is the Morphe 441 brush. And I just love to blow this out in the crease. It's almost like my skin color, but trust me, it's there. Okay, next I want to go in with this shade right here, which is called Screw It. It's a pretty terracotta brown, and again, I'm just going to focus that on the lower part of my crease, but like really focus it in on the eye socket there to create some dimension. Hopefully you guys can see that. I have really fallen in love with the ColourPop powder shadow formula. When it first came out, I wasn't a huge fan, but this stuff is awesome and it's so affordable. I honestly can't even believe it. So now you guys can probably see there is some dimension there. So next I'm going to darken up the outer corner and use the black shade which is called Rule Breaker right here. And to pick up Rule Breaker I'm just going to use this Sony Akashic brush that I got in a kit and I'm just going to place that right here on the outer corner. This is kind of like a paddle brush but it helps me because I can like concentrate the black. Black is one of those colors I am so scared of because it can so easily turn into a bruised eye. So I like using this brush because I can concentrate it and then I can use a crease brush to kind of blend it and control the situation versus it starting off with a blending brush. I feel like then it just like gets everywhere. This black is honestly really pigmented. I'm really impressed so far. And this is my first time using the palette. I hadn't even swatched this palette yet. So it's nice and darkened up. And now I want to use this color in the lid. It's called Howdy. And first I'm going to just use it on a dry brush. This is the M224. It's my favorite brush for shadow. Just going to dip into this and see what the pigmentation is like. So it's definitely a very sparkly base. Not seeing much color payoff. Oh, there we go. Beautiful color. I love that. I'm going to spray the brush now just to see if I can get it to foil some more. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. I just use it just like Max Fix Plus, and I'm trying to finish that up so. And I'm trying to blend it in with the black too, so we don't want it to look like a harsh line. This palette, guys, I just, I can't believe this hasn't sold out yet because it's such a good price point. And the pigmentation and it's ColourPop. And they have a code for Labor Day that was still active when this palette came out, and I think it still is. And I really like this look. This is definitely like an everyday look for me. So I'm going to put my liner on and some lashes and I will be right back. Okay guys, that is everything I had to show you about the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I don't think I need to say it again, but I will one more time. I 100% recommend this palette. There's literally no reason on God's green earth why you shouldn't pick this up. I think it's fabulous. The colors are fabulous. The swatches are amazing. It actually wears really beautifully on your face. If you guys have any more questions on the palette, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment below. But this is definitely approved. I would totally recommend picking this up. And what a great gift too if you have a friend, 
that loves makeup or a girlfriend that has a birthday coming up, I would totally recommend you picking this up and I am going to stop blabbering and sign off of this video. Just want to remind you guys, I do have a giveaway going on on my channel. I am giving away a Jaclyn Hill palette. I will link the video up and it is also going to be in the description box. So go ahead and enter that giveaway. I would love to give one of my subscribers the palette. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.